can't do trip, 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 can't do trip, 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 can't do trip, 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 diamonds on my wrist, they trippin', ice. welcome back to my channel so oh and if you're new welcome thank you so much for joining and checking out my video so today y'all know I love me some palettes <laughs> so it should be no surprise that we are talking about another palette today I'm doing a first impression on this palette and spoiler alert my first impression is really good now I must say I really didn't have too many high hopes for this palette now even though I saw some really good videos including you know my girl Lily she did a video for this palette and I was teasing her because I was like girl how did you get that palette to work like that how did you get such a pretty look out of that palette because this palette which the palette I'm talking about is this BH Cosmetics Royal Affair palette this is what the box looks like so it's really cute it has all of the different shades in here or you know what looks like the actual palette on the cover it's a 20 pan eyeshadow palette this is what the back looks like it has some ingredients some warnings some you know size pan size information and things like that and it's cruelty free which is always cool but that's what the back looks like and this is the box but yeah I really didn't have too many high hopes for this royal affair palette because even though to me it looked a little bit boring it looked a little boring I was mistaken because there are some really nice shadows in this palette so this is what the, the palette actually looks like it has this design on here that kind of looks like gems or little gemstones which is really really pretty it really sticks to the whole Royals theme or like high court and stuff like that Queen King stuff that references royalty so it really sticks to that theme with this palette and it's really really pretty I think it's cute it's just your basic cardboard palette that you get you know from BH Cosmetics and this palette actually retails for $18 while I'm making this video it's on sale for $9 but you know BH they have a different sale every week so who knows what is going to be in a couple of days or so but if it's still on sale you might want to try and grab it if you're interested on the back it has the same information with the ingredients and it talks about the palette and you know what I'm going to go ahead and read this little blurb because I think it'll give you a good idea of what the description for this palette is okay so it says here Beige Cosmetics Royal Affair 20 color eyeshadow palette Adorn your eyes in regal opulence with the Royal Affair 20 color shadow palette featuring a luxe range of rich neutrals, precious gemstones, and vibrant metal shades. In buttery mattes and lustrous shimmer finishes, each pigment infused shadow delivers a vivid color payoff and superior blendability to create stunning eye looks fit for royalty. Okay. <laughs> So that is the description on the back of this box for this palette. Now there is a mirror in this palette which is always really cool. Me personally I don't care but I know a lot of people do and I think for $18 BH Cosmetics it's nice to have a mirror in the palette. So these are the shadows you guys. So at first glance you know if you're really creative or you just kind of like muted tones this palette might look really pretty to you now to me I was like what I'm gonna do with that <laughs> y'all know because y'all know me if I don't see blues and purples and all that good stuff I'm like what is that but I decided to go ahead and pick it up and try it out just because you know I saw some really pretty eye looks created with this palette so I said let me give it a shot you know I like a challenge y'all so 
these are the shadows let me go ahead and give you a closer so this look. is what they look like as you can see there are some really pretty shimmer shades in here as well as some highly pigmented matte shades and you know it's very unique i think it's a very unique combination of shades i love the fact that there's a black in here some beautiful highlight shades but yeah i think that this is something that you can very easily create a basic look or if you want to really try and be creative you can do something a little bit different a little bit daring so let's go ahead and get some swatches going for this palette and then I'll give you some of my first impression thoughts on it before I jump into this look that is this whole palette swatch you guys and I think it's a really pretty eclectic combination of shades a nice mixture of mattes and shimmers to play around with so I really like it and it does kind of remind me or make me think of like a royal court or royal situation <laughs> So that's just my thoughts on the swatches. They swatched very nicely. I think that the mattes came off nicely pigmented and the shimmers look very, very pretty. So it swatches very nicely. And I must say that it performs nicely as well, at least the six shades that I used. Now, if you do stick around to watch how I created this look, you'll see that I did start off with the burgundy shade as well as this gorgeous green shade in my upper area and in my in my upper eyelid and also in my crease area but <laughs> because I decided I wanted to go in with some of this black and try and smoke out my outer corner and my crease area a little bit I got a little carried away so of course the black over through the green it just took over and I used just the tiniest amount I didn't go in and go ham or anything it just took over so it's not the greens fault it's my fault because <laughs> if you put black over green guess what it's going to turn black so that's what happened I still really like how this look came together I love the shimmer shades on my lid this color here this gorgeous like it's like a bright green shade, but it actually kind of comes off gold in some lighting. So that's what I really wanted to highlight and make the focus point on my, or the focal point on my lid was that shade here. And I really, really like it. It's really pretty and it went on very nicely. I did spray my brush, of course, like I always do, but honestly and I wanted to bring the green back in since I covered it up so I did go ahead with that on my lower lash line as you can see but just my initial thoughts for this palette I like it the mattes are nice and soft and buttery you'll see when I was creating this look how I was feeling and the shimmer shades are beautifully pigmented as you can see for yourself they're beautifully pigmented and they go on super smooth and easy so after the fight I had with that last Morphe palette <laughs> a few videos ago, I was really, really pleased to enjoy using this palette that I was so surprised turned out the way that it did because I really didn't think that I was going to enjoy it. So that's it for my first impression on this eyeshadow palette, you guys. If you'd like to see how I created this look, please stay tuned because it's coming up next. Next. 